getting our ePortfolio. Portfolio.ca. Using your username and password, sign in here. Once you're signed in, then you need to use your new password. So go to settings, enter your, your current password, and then your new password so it's set up for your own personal account. Then once you've got that, go back to the dashboard. Thing to notice here with the ePortfolio is it has three areas that we'll be exploring. First of all, creating your collection. We're going to play around with your profile. We're going to upload some files and explore the potential of using the resume part for building your CV online. It's also a journal where you can keep your own thoughts and we'll focus on creating pages and these pages will then be put into collections that become portfolios which you can then share with friends, instructors and to be certified in BC to teach. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is work on our profile. So click on content, click on profile. Here you'll see I need a face. So you can fill in the details here and you can put details down here that introduces you in relation to your own website. That's going to be you, your portfolio. And then click on the picture here and that allows you to upload. I have some pictures here I've already collected. If I want to upload another one, I just go to browse at the bottom here and then click onto my desktop and locate an image on my computer that I can then use and give it a name, so we'll call this one Dr. Hopper. So, and then upload. Then that picture comes up onto your site. If I want to, I can select that as default one. Any time I can rotate the picture. And as I set default, you'll see that's the one that now appears at the front here. So if I go back to the dashboard, I now have my picture, my name here, and I've started my profile. So that's a good start. The other thing you can now look at if you go into your contents, you can play around with things like a resume. And here you can add an introductory letter to yourself, start filling in details that you'd normally put in the CV, you can start setting goals, like start filling your personal, your academic, your career goals. And all these can be used in any one of your pages as you develop your portfolio for different audiences. So have a little play with those and edit those as need, just to give you something to work with. So that will be our first go at our portfolio. Excellent, well done.